everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom's Mickey, and today we are going to be building an Orange Dream Bachelor Pad. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bachelor pad when you download it. You can put whoever you want in the house, but I just like the name of it. And this kind of, I, this came about because I was searching online for a picture of a house to build because I like building off pictures of houses. Most of the simmers that you watch do. They won't tell you most of the time. They'll be like, oh, I just thought of it randomly, but no. They definitely got it from a picture, but I was looking for something and I wasn't really finding anything that was inspiring me. And then I found this house that, um, it was white and it had this kind of off orange roof. It wasn't the same, like, structure. It was just the color scheme that I liked. And so I just started with a wall and started building until I liked how it looked, essentially. I, this is me kind of freestyling, I guess. This is my freestyle house. This is my first, like... Not my first, but my, well, no, my first on YouTube, I guess, really. No, that's a lie. I feel like there was some other house I freestyled, but this one is, like, my first, like, hey, I freestyled this, I hope you like it type of house, I guess. But I was kind of just going with the flow, figuring out what I wanted. In the end, it's a relatively small house. It's not, like, my, like, starter homes. It's definitely more expensive. I think it's, like, 30,000 simoleons. But I didn't want it to be... I don't know, I didn't want to skimp on anything because I thought I figured the person who lived here is someone that's like a career orientated person. They've got a nice job. They've got a nice, like, got a nice thing going, essentially. And so I didn't want to skimp on the furnishings and skimp on the uh, just general appliances. And so we got a kind of expensive house going here. This is my first kind of like real expensive house besides the family home that I built. Like, well, the two family homes I built. So, like, the first expensive, like, solo sim house is what I'm going to try to call it. Yeah, that'll work. But, yeah, I put in a pool. Very nice. It's kind of a... I don't know. It's very chill. It's more like a beach house. Like, if we had a beach-styled world, this house would be in that world. In my head, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It would also work in the, um... The Get Famous world, I feel like. Because that one's kind of similar to, the, like, the feel of L.A., well, the, what I guess is, like, the feel of L.A. I've never been to L.A. <laughs> I've only been to Chicago once, so that's fun. <laughs> I do like Chicago, though. Great place. Fun place. Cool things. But, um, what was I talking about? I just got way off course with the whole Chicago thing. Oh, it would work in that world, I think, because of the whole, I don't know, beachy vibe, I guess? Well, to be fair, I've never actually played in that world, so I don't know if it would work. But in my head, it would work in L.A. That's what I'm basing this also off of. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so focus up, Mackenzie. Goodness. Okay, so the the walls are white, just like the exterior. Um, I didn't want to. So my general idea for the house was when I saw that white walls and like the light orange roof on the other house, I thought, ooh, what if I went for a full orange feel, which is where the orange dream came from. <laughs> um, so everything on the inside is going to be pretty much white and orange essentially, and then the bedroom is gonna have black. I I wanted to uh, really lean on the orange because I don't think I've ever put orange in a house before, <laughs> personally, because I, I don't know about you, but I hate orange, just in general. I mean, it looks good on me with my complexion because I'm super pale and it just kind of looks okay, but it doesn't look good just in general. <laughs> and so I really wanted to try to give orange a chance. I guess. That was my goal, is to give orange a chance. <laughs> and so, it, the house is not, like, it's not overpoweringly orange. I didn't go crazy and make, like, orange everything. But you'll see, there is a big nod to the color orange in this household. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hate orange. Just, this house is not for you. Come back later, I'll build something else. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I like how it turned out. I, I used these cabinets. See, like, if I would have used, like, the plain orange that would have been a problem. That would have been too much and it would have just been hor horrendous to look at. But I re actually, I really like these cabinets the with the orange insets. I think they look really nice, personally. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, I might use them more often. I think they're really cute. I mean, they're kind of more of like a color themed house because if it was like a normal colored house <clears throat> and then they just have orange cabinets. You know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, that's fine. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm really, what am I trying to say? I, I really liked building this house, I think. I had a lot of fun just freestyling, figuring out what was working, what wasn't, not really leaning off of a, like a floor plan or a picture of a house. This is entirely from my own brain. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I, I, I'm trying to like 
sell this house to you, I guess. I like it. You might like it. Download it. <laughs> but right now I'm working on the bathroom. It does work. The two by two bathroom. I managed to shuffle around the sink and the toilet and move them back a little bit. So when your sim uses the bathroom, they will use the toilet and then get up and then immediately use the sink. The shower does work. All the appliances work. So you don't have to worry about anything not working. Make sure you do turn on move objects when you download this house because I use move objects a lot. I do, I use move objects a fair amount when I build just in general because it's kind of hard not to because everything would just, I don't know, the decorations wouldn't look right and just, it helps you personalize the house even more. Like if you don't know how to use move objects, I suggest you find like a, a tutorial online and then just kind of experiment because you can move things up and down that don't belong on shelves. You can resize them. It's a super helpful tool just in general. So I suggest y'all look it up if you haven't already <laughs> but this is me kind of using move objects as you can see you can move things wherever you want and just kind of place them normally you should use it for decorations because if you do it with an appliance and it's not placed in like snap into a specific spot then your sims can't use them it just kind of depends on the appliance like you can move a toilet back and you can move a sink back and your sims can still use it but like appliances like coffee pots and microwaves and stoves and stuff well stoves maybe stoves you can probably move around but like the smaller appliances your sims normally can't get to. Unless it's like a, a thing they can use from far away. My voice just cracked. You hear that? That was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm a 20 year old lady and my voice cracked. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so the kitchen's done. I didn't use a lot of decorations. I felt, In my head I thought like the person who lived here was like an entrepreneur who doesn't spend a lot of time at home. And so I figured he wouldn't have a lot of decorations. He'd just come home, eat, chill out, and go to bed. Essentially, he doesn't live, like, his house is nice, but he doesn't spend a lot of time here in general. And when he does, he just spends it relaxing. He's not the decorating type. But this is, um, the dining area. <laughs> this little kind of wall spot. I like it a lot because I use these shelves to kind of make the wall not as flat, I guess. Because the, the dining table comes out a lot. And so if you just put a, a flat piece of, like, art on the wall, it just continues that, like, it just doesn't look right because of how stuck out the, the, the table is. And so if you put shelves there, it looks nicer in my opinion, I guess. But now we're on to the living room. I do keep this corner couch. It's not like fully functional, obviously, because you're missing two spots. But your Sims will sit on them if you click on them, obviously. But I really wanted to use them because I feel like the space was a very awkward shape. And if I didn't, it would just look awkward, I guess. So yeah, but there is no TV in this house. I apologize for all the people who like to make their sims sit and watch TV instead of making them do stuff, but there is no TV. There is a radio, so your sims will listen to the radio while they're cooking and stuff like that. So they will get their fun up that way. They can also swim. I put, I think, a guitar and an, uh, like the little sim iPad thingy. So your sim can do fun stuff. I promise. Just not watch TV. <laughs> Sorry ahead of time. But this is the, the, the final layout of the living room. I really like how it turned out personally. I think this house is one of my faves that I've done in recent memory because I like how, um, I don't know, I like how it just flows all together in one room. I like just that, that layout in general of most of my houses. I like it all being in one giant space. I mean, I do like, like, section them off with that half wall and stuff like that. But overall, I, I like making sure the house has, like, an open feel. Even though I don't like open floor plans in real life, in The Sims, I like them. <laughs> but this is where the record player goes. Your sim will use it whenever they're in the house. Don't worry, it is not in a spot where their sims can't reach. They can't, like, touch it or anything, but they can turn it on, like, with their mind like they normally do. <laughs> but now we're on to the, the bedroom. It is going to be a black and orange theme, unlike the rest of the house, because I feel like the bedroom is the place where you go to wind down and make it dark and all that. And so I felt like having a white bed in a bedroom, because I'm the type of person that thinks, like, your sheets, like, affect your dreams. You know how, like, when they say, if you have purple sheets, you'll have a good night's sleep, stuff like that. I feel like having a white bed is just, like, way too bright for you to get a good night's sleep. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> but in my head, that's what I think. And so, my phone just went off. I'm going to apologize. We're too far into the voiceover for me to redo it. So, we're going to stick with it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm putting just like a little bit of folded shirts on there. Really casual, nothing too fancy in the bedroom. I feel like it's just a place where the sim goes to wind down. We are now on to the back porch. I just kept it simple back here because normally I like to clog up the backyard with like tables and stuff like that. 
because I would like to give the Sims a chance to like chill out back there. But I feel like this back porch is more just for sitting. It's not for like entertaining essentially because it's just like a nice little spot out in the desert where your Sims just go to chill or go to swim and just relax, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I like how the pool is connected to the porch. It gives it this really nice kind of, I don't know, separated from the outside world vibe. Even though it is open to the elements, it just seems like it's not as easily accessible, I guess. And then I put these little fountains in there that spew out water, like barely any water, but they it does spew out water. <laughs> I like how it looks because that wall is so flat. It needed something to counteract that. Otherwise, it would have just looked, I don't know, blah, <laughs> I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. But this is pretty much the, the final layout of the house. And now I start doing the landscaping. The landscaping is essentially the same thing I do in all my other um, Oasis Springs houses. Because I want them to like go together and look cohesive. And so again, simple palm trees, the simple agave plants, uh, the orange rocks. Not the orange rocks, I like the light red rocks. Because I want my world to be cohesive whenever I actually do end up giving out my save file. So get ready for that because that's coming in a while. <laughs> I mean, I plan on doing, uh, there is one laundry day item in there, but I will delete it whenever I do my save file, because as I said, my beginning save file will be base game only, so prepare yourself for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this turned out. I think it's one of my favorite houses to date. It will be up on the gallery, and when you download it, make sure you turn on move objects or else things will disappear. I did that by mistake earlier when I was testing the house. Make sure that's turned on. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more content from me, make sure to subscribe and drop a like down below. It helps with the channel. If you don't like what you see, like and subscribe anyways, just because you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.